So, Velma. <laughs> God. Where do I start with this? Um, oh, God. I was looking for ideas for videos to make. I stumbled across this. I thought it was going to be bad, but in all honesty, I had no idea it was going to be this bad. And having just finished watching all of the episodes last night, I've realized that the whole Velma thing has gone completely cold. Um, so I'm going to have to put this video out. I'm sorry, I'm late, but I just watched 10 episodes of this show. <laughs> you know how the victims had the brain scooped out of their heads? Is that a metaphor for me, the audience member? It is, isn't it? Yeah, I, I thought it was. Uh, where do I start? Uh, well, well, first things first, there's um. So first things first, there's new YouTube rules. If I swear within the first five minutes of a video, I get demonetized. And as a new creator, I, I, I can't really afford that. So a new system is in place. Every time I'm about to swear, I'm just gonna show you Ed Sheeran. So if you wanna know what I really think of Velma, you might have to wait until we get about 10 minutes into this video and I'll open up a little bit. But for now, my opinion on Velma is it's a load of garbage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where to start? I was going to do three videos, but I'm not even putting you guys through the pain of that. So this thing starts... And Velma tells us that it's the Scooby-Doo origin story because, hell, that's what I've been waiting all my life for. And, of course, because it's woke HBO and some failed feminist stand-up comedians writing this script. Uh, everything that happened was all due to Velma. And then we kind of go, Daphne's hot, Fred's some, well, Fred's just ma male, so he's not capable of cutting his own food with a knife and fork. And thankfully, they didn't desecrate the grave of Scooby-Doo, although they tried to. They kind of mentioned Scooby-Doo, but there's no dog to... Ed Sheeran, all over. I, I'm not even enthusiastic about making this video. I don't know why you're even watching it, to be honest with you. <laughs> just, the show is just garbage. The, the only conclusion I can come to as to why this show was made is this. Okay, this, this, this can be the only excuse this TV show was made. So, the scriptwriter, as a child, had adults breaking into her room in the middle of the night, dressed as the gang from Scooby-Doo, and those adults interfered with this scriptwriter's toys. And as a result, she decided to exact revenge on them, so she climbed the greasy pole of network television or sucked the greasy pole of network television. Whatever people do these days, she might have licked the greasy pole of network television. I don't know, but she got all the way to the top so that she could make a TV show that just Ed Sheeran all over Scooby-Doo because she was abused as a child. I, I honestly don't know. Um, am I allowed to say that? Are they going to come for me? Is there a YouTube drone coming? I'm all right. Okay, we're safe so far. So, you can... 
Th th this is just garbage. This is what happens if you turn a writer's room into a therapy session, okay? If you get a bunch of narcissistic people in a room together who are all addicted to group therapy and droning on about their miserable little lives, this is what you get, yeah? I, I have a lot of respect for old cartoons, and the reason I have that respect is this. A lot of the old cartoons could entertain adults at the same time as entertaining children. So you had all this kind of great stuff for kids to look at. You had this easy dialogue for kids to understand and woven within it was some pretty cool adult, adult jokes that pointed at contemporary adult society. That is called clever writing. People who are narcissistic and addicted to group therapy sessions and take that ideology into a writer's room with them are talentless hacks and will never produce anything good. Now, apparently this show has some things that shocked audiences. I don't know what, because if I'm perfectly honest, this thing had my attention for 50% of the time. I've watched 10 episodes of it. I didn't make it all the way through one of them without skipping bits or just ending it early and relying on the recap to catch up. It's garbage. The first three episodes have attempts at comedy, which are bad feminist open mic night jokes. And they don't work because they're garbage. The jokes don't work because it's a woman telling them. The jokes don't work because it's a feminist telling them. The jokes don't work because they're garbage. After the first three episodes, I think all humour disappeared because I couldn't spot any. I laughed at one thing and I can't even remember what that was and I know it was something I probably shouldn't have been laughing at. So, this thing stinks. The thing that made me laugh most about this cartoon was the fact that the school was called Crystal High and I got to make a cool thumbnail about crystal math high <laughs> which if you get the play on words you're my kind of people so this thing just stinks I hear it's been cancelled for season 2 then I hear they're making a season 2 in all honesty I don't care this is garbage this is real garbage, and we should not be talking about it. We just, sh I, 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 I shouldn't be making this video, so I'm just going to end it now. Um, I'm new in these parts. If you like what I'm doing, comment. I want to chat with you. Subscribe, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. It's, it's Velma, it's, it's over five minutes yet. Can I say that it's fucking garbage yet? Fuck it. You know what? No one's watching the videos, so I'm not making any money anyway. This thing is fucking garbage. It should be burnt. You should take every single piece of the internet that contains data relating to this show and just set it on fire. It's garbage. It's over. Mic drop. I'm out of here.